Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode we bargained with our dad about staying here. And if I take first place in the tournament, then he will allow me to stay. And then now I'm I take a deep breath before I step in. Step into what? Oh, oh the pool. Oh. Sure enough. They're both here. Of course! Wait, didn't we say we were gonna go do some special swimming training or something? Yeah. What took you so long? We have a lot of training to do before we get to that competition. Oh. Uh, sorry. Yeah, Keda, we really need to train hard. Everyone else who's going to be participating will be fighting fit. Well, yeah, it is a competition. It's gonna be super tough. If we even want a chance at winning, then we need to be nothing less than at our best. Miko looks really fired up about this. So come on, let's get swimming already. Alright, let's do it. I have to agree with Miko. We need to get in right away. We really need to take this seriously, Keita. I, I am. I'm trying my best. I have a mental block or something. I'm scared. Of course, I'm going to take it seriously. I never know when you're being serious about something, you know. But I'll just presume that you really mean it. I do mean it. I really do. I'm going to do this for the both of you. Then say it like you mean it. I mean it. I will work myself to the bone. We're going to all do our best for this tournament. How's that? I paused for a moment. It's very rare that I ever shout about anything. Oh, first for everything. But this time, it just sort of came out of me. Miko is smiling at me. I knew you had some anger in you. It's so much better to express it than it is to hide it. Uh, depends on certain situations. Don't you feel better? I do, actually. Then shout it out for the whole world to hear. Come on, there's no way that you're going to transfer. Yes, I will do my best. You will prove to your dad that you can do it. Absolutely. You helped us both, Keita. It would be a disgrace for us to not do the same for you. We're going to have to train harder than ever before. Yeah, some special swimming training. But I'm no longer wavering. Their determination has rubbed off on me. Yay! We're going to do this, no matter what. Are you ready, Keita? You better be ready. Both of them look at me, expectantly from the other side of the pool. Oh, I thought they were right next to me. Give it everything you've got. Any less and we'll make sure that you will regret it. I don't doubt it for a minute. Then what are you waiting for? Dive in. I need no further approval for them. Special training time. Ahoy! As I dive into the pool, it all comes naturally to me. Oh, there's a new soundtrack. It's as if I'm flying rather than swimming. Ooh. No longer held back by my fear. I feel as if I can drift through the blue waters effortlessly. I won't leave this place. I won't leave behind Hiromi and Miko, both of them. I just hope that things will work out okay. Yeah! No, I can't hope. I will make sure that things work out okay. There you go! This is my moment in the sun, and I will not be held back by anything. This time, no matter how many laps they send me on, I don't tire. You mean I? Won't tire? Your, your stamina is not human. How are you doing this? I don't know. Maybe it's all this anger in me. I guess I'm just determined. And that too. Hiromi just shakes her head. When you first joined the club, I had a feeling that things would take an interesting turn. But look at us now. We've come so far in such a short time. Oh yeah, we're... We're dating now, and then 
from super fast. Now that we're here, there is no quitting. Okay? Of course not. Believe me, I have no intention of backing down. You better not. I'll be cheering for you as you get in that pool. So, if you do anything less than your best, I won't forgive you. Oh man. Well, I won't do anything less than the best then. She really does mean it. I don't think I've seen her puff up her cheeks like this before. Something inside me can't help but feel moved by her spirit. Even though she's so angry, there's something undeniably sweet about her. You mean like, they both care? Believe me, Miko, I wouldn't dream of it. For a moment, I just stand there, looking back at the pool. Who would have known that my future would have been determined by a hole in the ground with some water in it? Hmm, who knew? Things happen. Listen, I just want to thank you both. It honestly isn't something that I have said very often in my life. But please, know that I truly am grateful. Thank you. Both of you. You've changed my life. Friends look after each other, don't they? That's what Kata said. I think it's very true. Alright, don't let it get in the way of training. Alright. It's more important than ever that you don't lose your concentration. Now it's time to get back in the pool. Two more laps, Kata. Miko is sounding like a drill sergeant at the moment. But I don't care. Eagerly, I dive back in, racing my way through another lap. I think we'll be ready. No, I don't think. I'm sure we'll be ready. I don't think I've ever been this tired before. All I want to do right now is go home and get some rest. Ooh, that must have been like really tough training. I'm about to walk out, but I see Hiromi and Miko still standing there in their swimsuits. The atmosphere feels odd. I think I'll hang back and see what's happening. Their voices carry through the empty building. What are they talking about? Huh. L listen, if we're both going to date him at the same time, wh what if... what if we... when we get more intimate? Yes, that it's something that's going to happen eventually. I've been thinking about it too. Oh? B but when that happens, we'll both... B we'll both be... I would be okay with it though, since it's you, Miko. Aww. What? What are you talking about? Are, are you saying... We're so close to each other. What's one more little step? Aww. Uh, isn't that wrong though? Or, are we allowed to do something like that? Well, we're already, you know, with him. I, I see your point, and I, I guess I'm not opposed to the idea. Oh, talking about the naughty things. You, you are my best friend after all, Hiromi. You're mine too, Miko. The two of them draw closer to one another. They wrap their arms around each other. What? What am I witnessing? Do they both? feelings for each other? And me at the same time too? Huh. Maybe. They're both... They're both... The, the ground is slippery. Before I know what happens, they both slip. Uh oh, that's not good. But, oh. Uh, on the water. On the water. Don't, don't hit the ground. With a loud splash, they fall into the pool. Oh, whew. What a relief. Are those two okay? I immediately dive in after them. The vast blue void before me seems to stretch on forever. Oh, hope they're okay. As I look around, I see two murky shapes before me. Oh, it must be them. I reach out to them. But this, this isn't what I expected. Huh? What do you mean? Oh. in that vast blue void before me. Floating with an almost serene grace, 
The two of them are entwined in each other. Pressed against each other, their flesh seems to become a blur. Oh, so... Hmm, I wonder if they did have feelings for each other before. Their lips are locked, their eyes closed. Blowing hair circles all around them. It seems like an otherworldly moment. Yeah. Frozen in time as they both swirl in the pool's blue depths. It feels as if an eternity is passing in these few moments. Their hands are interlocked in a death grip. What? Death grip? It doesn't look like it. Both of them. They look so happy. In this moment, they are the only ones in this watery world. I'm just an outsider, observer. Observing them. The distance between them and I. It would be comparable to a galaxy. It would? Oh, say so, Kato. Feels like I'm watching this from far, far away. I... I wonder how long these feelings were there. Yeah, I wonder that too. Yet, somehow I've been caught up in the middle of this. So... We all love each other. That's how it is. The precious moment between two friends. No, it would be wrong to call them just friends now. They have taken a step beyond that. But what would be the right word for this? Lovers? I... I'm just at a loss. Was I the one who allowed them to cross that threshold? I think so. Hmm? There's... There's no other word for this than love. Yeah, see, I just told you, lovers. Despite how shocked I am, I think this is one of the most beautiful moments I have ever seen. Really? It seems to go on forever. Eventually, they part lips and stare into each other's eyes. Even though neither of them can speak a word, they're saying to each other everything they need to. Aww. Slowly, they drift back up to the surface, rays of light dancing around them as they ascend. It is as if two angels are ascending to heaven. Rising beyond a cold blue world. Oh. For a moment, both of them just sit on the pool's edge. They don't say a single word. They know I'm here. I think they don't know that I saw everything too. Oh. Oh. That... That was nice. I... Wouldn't mind doing it again. Oh no, they've noticed me. Well, yep, they didn't know I was there. They, they thought I left. This is going to be awkward. k k k k k Did... Did you... See... 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 The, the... Oh. Hmm. Huh. What do I want to say? Hmm. And we'll figure out what I'm going to say in the next episode, everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!